Hi guys, it's Danny. Welcome to another casual Sundays. And we have sun today, so yay! Gonna shoot many more videos today, I think. So today we're gonna talk about fungal infections on orchids that arise from a problem with the media. I think I've noticed a connection between these phenomena, but before we go into the subject, I would just like to give a shout out to my viewer Anna. Thank you so much for supporting me and Orica Nature and my YouTube channel. You are very, very generous. And I hope that you will like the revamping of my channel in the springtime when I'll move. So thank you again and thank you for watching my videos. Alrighty, so let's talk some fungal infections. Now, fungal infections look pretty much like this. It's just some brown or dark spotting or patching on the leaves, maybe the pseudobulbs as well. They don't usually um, appear to be moist, they don't smell bad, uh, strangely enough, because it's a fungus. Those are the bacterial infections, and here is an example of it. So this is a bacterial infection, and as you can see, the leaf is also yellowing. In the case of a fungal infection, it will not spread so, so fast, but indeed these um, patches are really unsightly and in the end the leaf will eventually fall, so it's not okay to have fungal infections. However, the cases of fungal infection that I had with my orchids pretty much had something in common, and this is bad media. Whether it degraded to the point of actually becoming bad, or the media was not properly disinfected. Anyway, they all have the same result, and I think the most iconic one is my Encyclia cordigera. Here she is today. If you look at it, you wouldn't say that this looked horrible in the past. However, it did, and I will add an annotation or an info card on the screen right now so you see exactly how this one looked like. All the leaves were pretty much covered in very, very dark spots, and at some point some of you guys suggested that I treat it with a fungicide because if not, it might actually die. Now I'm not okay with fungicides, so what I did was change the media, and the media was actually very, very bad. It was the orchid focus media, it smelled bad, it was full of fungus and molds and actually mushrooms. So all I did was change the media, treat everything with hydrogen peroxide. I practically bathed this one in hydrogen peroxide. I also cut away most of its roots. So right now the roots that you see on this one are all new roots. There are no old roots on this one anymore, so everything you see grew after I repotted it. And the orchid does not have any more black spots on the leaves. I'm not sure if this cured it per se. It did, however, help. I will not be sure until this suitable matures and the leaves stay clean. But there you go. All I did in this case was just change the media and treat this orchid with hydrogen peroxide. But the cause was eliminated, and I think the cause was bad media. This again was suffering from a case of very bad media, moldy media, because I boiled it and I degraded it and it started to smell really, really, really bad. I did a video on this one anyway. Um, these leaves got infected. There was another new leaf on another segment that actually fell. It got so infected. And if I look at the spots, they are pretty, pretty similar with what I had on the Encyclia that I just showed you. And uh, the new growths actually look better. I did get rid of that media. This one is just planted in some sphagnum moss to encourage some new growths. But as you can see, there's no more infection. And actually, this doesn't spread anymore, which is nice. But if it does spread, I'll just cut the leaf. So what I did in this case, again, I eliminated the cause and changed the media. Here is another one that you might not expect. This is the Renanthera monachica. If you remember, I had a lot of sphagnum moss on this one, and at some point the sphagnum moss degraded, and you can actually see on the roots and on the cork itself, it's darker here. I actually cleaned it now. It used to be much worse, and the sphagnum moss was so, so degraded that it was black. I treated it with hydrogen peroxide, but um, if you look at the leaves, they really took a toll. This is a fungal infection on the leaves, and I'm not sure if my camera focuses. I hope it does. But take a look at this leaf. Don't you find it very, very similar with what I just showed you earlier? So yeah, same symptoms uh, due to a bad degraded media. Here's another example. This is a bit worrying. This is the Rhynchostilis celestis blue. This one does not have a media, but each time I water it, I get this really awful smell. I'm guessing there are quite a lot of dead roots here inside, so I'm guessing I need to intervene. And as you can see, this orchid is affected as well. This really looks like a fungal infection, and uh, if you notice, it does look very, very, very similar to what I had on my other orchids and what I still have. 
and the only connection because these guys are just they don't even sit close to each other let alone share water between my orchids but there are the same symptoms and the only connection between these two is that awful decomposition smell that awful i don't know nitrogen smell i don't even know how to call it it's pretty pretty stinky when you have something decomposing the media that is decomposing this is how it smells like although this does not have media but it has pretty much some rotten roots here that are decomposing and I think it's affecting this orchid. Now in the case of monopodial orchids like this Vanda, things are a little bit tricky because they don't produce new pseudobulbs. So if the leaves fall, they will be gone forever and the stem will look pretty bare. I'm not sure if in this case I will need to remove the leaves, I might, but definitely, definitely I need to address this issue because I don't find any other good explanation except the fact that the roots are decomposing here and it's affecting the orchid, it's causing this fungal infection. So as a conclusion, I think there is a connection between moldy decomposing media or decomposing roots and the fungal infections that I see on the leaves. I'm not yet sure because I cannot really test that, but based on the examples that I just showed you, the similarities are there and everything looks very, very obvious. I did have a few more cases with the orchid focus media and if you are subscribed to my channel for quite a while you know the awful things that that media created well that media smelled bad after a few weeks it had mushrooms growing inside it and i'm well aware that any environment has its own um let's say mold spores and so on but i really don't think i have mushroom spores in my balcony and they only developed in that media so they came with that media all of my orchids planted in that media developed fungal infections and the other ones that I just showed you developed these infections because the media was old, decomposed, degrading, or the roots started to decompose. This is the main reason why I tell you to cut away all the dead roots on orchids when you repot them. Even if it looks kind of drastic to cut away many, many roots, if they're dead, trust me, they will not do any good to the orchid. They cannot absorb water. All they can do is spoil the media and start to decompose and hopefully not, but can lead to fungal infections. That is what I believe, this is what I'm starting to believe actually, um, and I'll let you know how it goes. If I can treat this by actually eliminating the cause, then things are pretty clear. But just to be safe, I wanted to make this video to address this issue, so if you ever had these types of fungal infections, they look like what I just showed you, think back if somehow the media was decomposing or you had a root rot issue or something of the sorts, because if there is a connection, it's a really important, let's say, thing to have in mind. So alrighty, thank you guys for watching this video, this discussion. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you ever had cases of the sorts that you find the same uh, correlation. Do let me know, it's pretty important for me actually. So alrighty, thank you for watching. If you have other questions or suggestions for videos or for casual Sundays, just leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you or make a video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see daily or good videos from me. And if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and a share. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchinature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets, and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye!